What's up YouTube? So today we're going to be doing another little rebel video and that is going to include installing this glass parency windshield kit. It's kind of like a coating that you can apply for the windshield. I think it's kind of acts like similar to like a um, like a ceramic coating where water, debris, all that is just supposed to kind of repel off the windshield and just slide down. I don't really know too much about glass parency, but you can get this kit for free online by signing up for their sponsorship program. I'll put a link in the description below for something. You know, you know if you guys wanna jump on board and get this kit for free, but you know, stick around, see how it goes. We're gonna just install it on the Rebel. It's a, it seems like it's a pretty easy install. Let's kind of open this up and have a look. Yep. Damn plane, hold on one second. All right, so inside the kit, we kind of have like this abrasive pad. We have the cream cleaner, those two go together. Then we got the little maintenance formula. And then just step A and B. So if you don't want to read the instru instructions and just listen to me, it just asks for you to clean the windshield with just an alcohol-based glass cleaner. I'm gonna be using McGuire's right here and just some microfibers. And then it asks to use this cream cleaner with the abrasive pad. Just uh, wipe down the windshield, then wipe down part A, part B, and that should be it. So let's get to it, check it out, see how it goes. Yeah, I'm sure I'll make fun of Next step, we just use the cream cleaner, the abrasive pad. Just go on there, a little nice circular motion, get that windshield nice and clean before we apply the coating. <laughs> So we put it on there, you can kind of see, I don't know if you can or not, but it has a bunch of swirl marks now. So we've used this with the abrasive pad. It calls for a minute of cure time, so we're just going to let it sit for a minute and then get back to the next step. So alrighty, I'm not going to make you sit here with me. Kind of weird, this uh, cream cleaner kind of smells like toothpaste. I wouldn't suggest using it, but kind of smells Alrighty, we let it cure for a minute. So now it's time for step A of this packet. It doesn't. All right, go to step A of this packet. Open it up. It says apply in a basket weave pattern. So that's just side to side, and then up and down. Nothing too complicated. So I think what this is in here is like a pad, kind of like a wet nap that you just kind of unfold, and then you wipe it on there. So let's get to it and get it done. Oh yeah, also, if you have some of these gloves, just uh, disposable non-latex ones, you can get them. They're kind of like uh, disposable mechanic gloves. It wouldn't hurt to throw them on when you're applying this coating. You can get them at Home Depot for a pack of 12 for about three bucks. <laughs> All 
already. So yeah, like you saw, it was kind of like a wet nap that you just kind of wipe it on there. So that was part A. It says let it cure for a minute before we apply step B. So we're gonna let it sit for a minute and then we're gonna get right into it and apply step B. Okay, so part B was definitely way more concentrated than part A. Uh, what I mean by that is, it, you know, there was definitely way more chemical in this. So that's why you saw me kind of do a double pass on there on the windshield. So now it says, you know, again, let it cure for a minute and then clean it again with an alcohol-based cleaner. So I'm going to be using the Meguiar's again, but I would also recommend using, you know, a brand new microfiber towel that has nothing on it. It's never been used before, so that's what we're going to be doing. You're going to let it sit for a minute, then jump back on it, and then that should be done. <laughs> So we're out of wiper fluid as well, so kind of just makes sense to fill up on it right now. No, what do we got here? Oh, well, shit. I might have to make a video on that too. <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't know, it goes right there, if that's not self-explanatory for you. Not there. Not there. Definitely not fucking there. Right there. I will say though, sitting inside the truck, the windshield is, it is perfect. I don't think I've seen the windshield this clean in a while. So, yeah, if that's worth anything. So as you can see, we kind of lost daylight here. So I'm not going to show you know, water beating off the windshield or anything right now. I'm going to leave it overnight, start filming again in the morning. So right off the bat, the windshield definitely feels a lot smoother. It doesn't have like any grain to it or anything like that. It feels really smooth. So hopefully this was a good coating and we'll have some cool video for you guys for tomorrow. So let's fast forward to that right now. All right, so it's the next day. And like I said, the windshield looks super clean. Feels super smooth. Give me a look. Yeah, it looks real clean. So you're gonna see how it works. And I'm gonna use the hose, spray some water on there, and it should beat off. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, but a bunch of water should beat off the windshield. So all right, let's check it out. So in the kit, it also comes with this maintenance formula. Uh, I'm not really sure when I'm supposed to apply this, but you know, maybe I'll give it about a month and then apply it to see, you know, if it makes a difference as well. You know, I'm, I'm assuming it's just another pad that you wipe on there, more or less the same jazz as the part A and B. So that's gonna do it for this one. Yeah, kind of a little random video, but. Maybe this will be a little bit helpful if you decide to put this on your car or truck. So if you like this video, give it a like. Appreciate it, guys. Later.